How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Navigation Nowhere. If you're new around here, we are in the middle of a short bus build where we're building out a 2004 Chevy Collins into my full-time home. In the previous episode, we spent a lot of time putting in the ceiling and a lot of trim pieces, and now we are ready to start actually building out cabinets and getting them installed. If you're interested in building, adventures, or living out full-time on the road, make sure you like this video and subscribe for more content. This, this doesn't usually happen, but this happened because we were just about to start building and then the guy from FedEx showed up. He's really awesome. We, uh, we're, we're friends now. Okay, we got the perfect thing. Do you know what this is, Luke? This is edge banding for the cabinets. What? It's so funny that it came in Henry, on the day. Wait, Mike, what are we doing today? We're building cabinets. What's that for? Cabinets, it's perfect. <laughs> and then I don't know what this is. Something I ordered. Oh, 12 volt oh. fuse panel. What's all that fun stuff, Mike? These are really fun tools that we're gonna use to build our cabinets because this is gonna give us our screw holes. And this is just a cool tool I've never used before, but I wanted to buy one because it's only like 20 bucks and I wanna try it out. But it essentially helps you line up and do um, all of your like um, hinges and recessed hinges for frameless cabinets and things like that. So pretty excited to try to use that. Before we got started on actually building any cabinets, what we needed to do is actually draw up a complete sketch of what we want to build. Now we do have a 3D rendering that we drew up and Luke was really helpful in designing that and that will be coming in a future video. But in terms of the actual details and measurements, we wanted to go through it and really figure out exactly what the cabinets were going to look like. All right, so we got all of our plans kind of drawn up. Me and Luke had quite a good discussion of just kind of drawing up all of our sketches, kind of the game plan of the cabinets, the idea that we're going for here is we're gonna just kind of build out the boxes. We're not trying to make it perfectly finished with drawer faces and everything. We're just trying to start getting our skeleton put together, which is gonna eventually become our complete floor plan. So right now, we're in the garage, setting the saws up. We're presetting everything, making sure everything's nice and square, just so that when we do make these cuts, we know that we have all of our right angles and stuff. So once these saws are all set up and dialed in, we can go grab some plywood and start ripping out our pieces for the cabinets. Now I know that when you buy a saw at the store, you probably assume that it's already set up square and perfect, but that's not always the case. A lot of times when you're moving saws around, you bump them, you drop them, and it's gonna set things off. So what you wanna do is make sure you go through, check them so that when you start making your cuts, everything will be right, everything will be straight, and you're not gonna have any problems when you start putting your cabinets together. about that no yeah this is why yeah, we set yeah, the saw gotta, once yeah, and then we cut them all because yeah. now they're all you gotta say your catchphrase oh sorry i'm not upset about that <laughs> i'm not at all actually though we set the saw we cut them all at the same time and now we have like identical pieces it just makes our cabinet building so much easier you know oh i'm so excited can we just keep i want to keep going let's just stop filming <laughs> Filming takes too much time. When we were cutting these cabinets, one way that we made sure that all of our pieces were gonna be identical is that when we set the saw to a certain measurement, say 23 and three quarters, which was gonna be our depth of the cabinets, we made sure to cut every single piece at the same time so that the saw was never moved. And that way we know that every single piece is going to be identical before we make our next cut. All right, a lot of precise cutting, but we got our first couple pieces in and we just held it together to just get take a look because me and Luke can pretty much, we cut one piece of wood and then we just want to look at it because... Making cabinets is so anticlimactic. It, <laughs> These are just a bunch of squares. I know. <laughs> we're just going to make this video just about a bunch of squares. I should just make the thumbnail just a square. When we start putting this in the bus, it's all going to start coming together. So remember that. But here's cabinet number one. This one will eventually be the sink cabinet. And then we have to make another one identical to this. And then a one foot cabinet. And then a custom one for a fireplace. Oh yeah, we already kind of pre-cut it. But we just have to put it together. But... All right, we're starting. So 
So now that we have some of our pieces cut, what we're trying to do is just put them together kind of temporarily. We're gonna be putting a couple screws in each corner. We're not gonna be gluing it at this point. What I wanna see is just the shape because I wanna make sure that all of these pieces fit together correctly and that when we actually put them inside of the school bus, they're gonna be correct right up against the wall, fit right together, nice and tight. And then what I'll do is bring them back into the garage at a later time and then actually put the screws in. Guys, guess what we did? We built a square. Are you watching this, you're like, Really? This is what I'm watching? But realistically, that was like 20 cuts. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it's perfectly square, which is awesome. Like, uh, So essentially, if you're looking at this, and I'm, I'm sure people, you have kitchen cabinets, so you know what they look like. Uh, pretty much what we did is we built the upper part. What we're gonna be doing is building a lower part right down here because we're gonna put a kick plate in. What kind of kick plate? A kick plate, that's actually a storage location. So we're actually gonna build that separate because it's actually gonna be a drawer. So the whole kick plate where when you're washing your dishes and your foot kind of goes underneath the sink, we're actually gonna be making that a drawer. So uh, that's gonna be built after we finish all of our square boxes. Do it, Luke. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh my gosh, the beginning of Ivan's kitchen. Oh man, that's a big kitchen. That actually is a big kitchen. Not bad. A counter space. So, stove. Stove will go somewhere like right there. Water tank underneath it. Water tank's going right in there. Sink. And then that's actually going to be a pull out garbage. And then the fireplace is going to go right there. So we still got, now we just got to build that one. Okay, so now that we have our beginning of the kitchen done, I just kind of explained, you know, we're water tank, sink, garbage, and then we're gonna have a fireplace on over here. This will be then installed into the bus. Uh, now what we have to do is get our top pieces in that are actually gonna hold, you know, all of this strong. So we gotta get some stringers going across. But man, our boxes, cabinets, you know, whatever, they're pretty much framed out in skeleton. So now that we have the boxes built, the last thing that we have to do is add in those strappings that are gonna go across the front and the back. Now I'm putting these in for two reasons. One is to actually hold that front face together so it actually stays square, but also because these are gonna be used to actually mount the countertop so that when the countertop goes on, I can screw up into the countertop through these pieces and it will hold the countertop to the cabinet. All right, yesterday we got these cabinets, all of our top strappings in, and now we can actually get them into the bus. I was just thinking that I probably should explain, we did build square cabinets, but we do actually have to fit them around the wheel wells. So we ended up building them square at first because we wanted to make sure that every cut was perfect and the cabinets were gonna be you know, really fitting in really nicely. But now what we have to do is actually get them to actually go around the wheel well. So we're doing a lot of measuring now, figuring out how we're gonna adjust and scribe these cabinets to actually fit through and over all of these different components that are actually gonna be in the way. That's gonna be the task of the day. And Luke's already starting to measure. I'm short. I'm We just gotta cut that side piece out, right? Mm -hmm. So, boom, here's that. If you notice what we're doing here is we used a square to mark out our edges of where we're gonna put our screw holes. This ensures that when we put our screws in, we're actually gonna hit the center of the piece of plywood below it, and that it's not actually gonna squeeze out any of the laminations or miss the board below. And once the kick plate's back on, we can put it back in the bus and check for sizing and install this cabinet.
All right, so we got this cabinet kind of set in. We had to cut out a little bit of the edge of it because it was actually over on top of the diesel inlet, which was gonna mess up our measurements by like an eighth of an inch, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when we're trying to set these cabinets in such a small space, we have it pretty precisely measured out. So we decided to take a little bit out of the edge here so it could sit on top of the diesel heater. But now that this one is set in its location, we can start now cutting all the rest of them, getting our measurements to set over the wheel well, set over the diesel inlet, and get this kitchen installed. All right, so we got this cabinet all set on top of the wheel well. We've got our spacing for our kick plate down here. It's all set. This cabinet is all done and set. We just have to move it over about five inches. It's gonna go up against the diesel inlet that's right here. So now what we're gonna be doing is heading on inside and actually getting this piece, which will be the sink cabinet installed. The only problem is that we gotta jig out this little edge of the wheel well, and then we gotta get the diesel inlet cut out of the back of it and then that will slide right in and we'll have ourselves the full kitchen. So a couple more tight cuts and we're gonna have the kitchen done and then we can start installing it, edge banding, and then start thinking about cabinet doors and things like that. Woo! All right, so this is our 30 inch cabinet we have to adjust. So if you can think about it, we gotta take a little bit out of the edge for the wheel well and then take a little bit out right there for the diesel inlet and then this cabinet is gonna be the one that's gonna slide right in. Now that we know that the cabinet fits over the wheel well and the gas inlet, the last thing that we need to do is finish out the inside of the cabinet by boxing out the areas that we just cut out so that it gives it a really nice clean look when the cabinet is installed and finished. Finishing out the inside of the cabinets is definitely a bit of an extra step, but in this case, it definitely makes it feel as though we are really finishing these out completely and that in the future when pots and pans or whatever is going to be in that cabinet is down there, isn't gonna have the opportunity to fall or leak out or just end up getting lost underneath the cabinet because it's gonna be completely sealed and closed off. All right, I just wanna say thanks to Dalton for coming over and helping out. And also thanks to Luke, he actually headed out for a little bit of a trip, so he'll be back tomorrow, but thank you, Luke, as well. And what I'm saying thanks about is that we got the kitchen in. I mean, there's still like edge banding I gotta do, and we still have to get up some screws in and actually finally install them, but you can actually see what the kitchen's gonna look like, which is kind of crazy, because I mean, it's actually starting to look like something. I mean, we've got cabinets, we're gonna, bathroom's gonna be in the back corner, we gotta put the wall in and stuff. Uh, I gotta build a custom cabinet right here for a fireplace that'll be going in right here. But now that we have these kind of set in in their locations, it's kind of, you know, it's gonna start setting all the other measurements. So now that we know that these are right, this is now set, the bathroom's now set, and then everything can just start getting set around these cabinets. But man, look at that. 
Good job, Dalton. Next time on the bus build, we will be building out the upper cabinet above the driver's seat, the fireplace cabinet, and then doing a bit of work in finishing up the kickboard cabinet, which will be underneath the sink. And finally, the last thing that we're going to be starting to work on is getting all the edge banding on the cabinets so we can get ready for doors. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.